Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Lost in Tokyo, the Yamanote Line Travels. Uh, today, we are here uh, back at Yurakcho Station. Uh, we're going to be checking out some of the prefectural stores um, in and around the Ginza area. Uh, just to let you know where some of these places are if you can't get out when you're traveling around Japan uh, like Okinawa or Koichi things like that we'll be showing places like that for you here uh, we're gonna be making our way south um, following the Yamanote line of course and uh, we're gonna be hitting Shimbashi and hopefully find again the uh, Jihibili I'm gonna say Jihibili today uh, clock um, which is always a nice uh, sight to see. And then of course, uh, we're gonna be checking out uh, Hamamatsu Cho um, and finishing up inside the station to see, you know who, the peeing statue. So good morning, everybody. It is a cold, it is a windy day. Um, we've got a couple of hours to hang out and then I have to get off to work. So uh, thank you everybody for being here. For those of you who are here, let's do a little bit of a roll call. Of course, Mike Dramatic Paws Hawk is here, wow. Forsyth, good morning. Uh, Jeremy, how are you? Uh, Ramsey Silent, good morning. Hey, Mom, how are you? Tetrazium, good morning. Uh, Paula from Texas, John McKee, Michael Tata, Spider Fresh, Ramen Pharmacist, how are you? Wanderer Number, good morning. Or I'll just say Wanderer and Nick R. Hey, how are you, cuz? Um, so, the, the infamous lottery booth where we left off is just right over there. I can already hear the annoying things going on. Hey, Vin, good morning. Um, but yeah, let's get going right away. We've got a bit of a walk to get going. Uh, thank you, Ram. I appreciate that. Uh, remember, it is Super Chat Saturday, so if you would like to help out uh, my channel, our community, um, then by all means, thank you so much. I really do uh, appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm just going to uh, bring up the replay here, and uh, we're going to get going right away, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, refresh. 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 <laughs> Where is my live feed? There we are. Okay, we're back into the chat. I'm going to press my own, smash my own like button, of course. I am like number 12. That's eh, not a bad looking number. Random guy, good morning. Um, so, yeah, let's get going. I'm going to show you the wall. The wall, ladies and gentlemen. The wall. There you go. There's the wall. <laughs> so, we are here uh, at your actual station. That's where we left off last time, is over at uh, the lottery booth. Shinkansen. Shinkansen. As you all know, the Shinkansen does come along this way. Um, so we came actually from the last time up that way, of course. Uh, the Shinkansen is heading south, probably to Nagoya area, Kyoto, Osaka, somewhere like that. Uh, it is very, very windy, my God. Uh, all the underground, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, I'll walk over here a little bit. A bit of the underground. Uh, hi, sister, how are you, Mindy's mom? A bit of the underground is on over in that area here. Of course, the obnoxious lottery booth. They don't have the speaker out right now, thank God. Uh, and then all the wonderful uh, areas, the Starbucks is down there, and that's where we finished off last time. So we're actually gonna go a different way today. <coughs> so this here is the Tokyo Kotsu Kaikon. Uh, usually they have a uh, weekend uh, market. I want to ride the, the crow. Hey, Drew, Tokyo Drew, hope you're doing well. Hello, the crow. Um, if it's too windy out, sorry ladies and gentlemen, but you can see uh, everything is uh, really windy here. Usually they have a market going on, but they built a wall here since the last time I was here and they're changing everything inside here. So I have no idea what is actually going on here. But uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, come around this way for a minute. Looks like they're selling some market uh, things going on. And this is where the inside of the market usually is. So they've downgraded it a lot here. And that's too, too bad because I know uh, I like coming here on the weekends, usually on a Sunday. So it used to go all the way through to the street over there. And now it's nothing, nothing here at all. So it looks like they're just setting up, which kind of sucks, but oh well, it is. Hey, Christian Funk, how are you? Ah, oh, good to hear, John. So, uh, real quickly, there are two Hokkaido stores uh, along the way here. And uh, I'm kind of walking back north, but we're gonna kind of head over into the Ginza area a little bit and then start going south. 
This is the Hokkaido Dosanko Plaza. A decent store um, to get, you know, soft cream and uh, some melon candies. I get these from my Patreon members, of course. Uh, but this is one of the prefectural stores here. You can see Hokkaido Dosanko Plaza. They actually do have uh, some hot foods in there, frozen foods and things like that. So you don't have to go all the way to Hokkaido just to uh, check things like that out. Hey, Pulak, how are you, brother? <clears throat> just up on the corner here. Hey, Leone. Wow. It's a good day when Leone's here. <laughs> Oh, it looks like maybe it's gone now, ladies and gentlemen. This used to be the uh, Osaka store, but seems to be uh, gone. Yeah. See what happens when you travel around and, uh, you know, you're used to seeing these stores and they just close up. I actually haven't been here in a while, so that looks like it closed on, in uh, December. But yeah, you can come inside here. And uh, of course, you have this whole area inside here. That's where the Osaka store was. So that just kind of depresses me. Huh. Okay. Justin Parks. Hello, everyone. Totally Drew. And Konnichiwa. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for being here. Please smash that like button. We always want to try to get to 50 likes as fast as possible as a community. It's a challenge. But we only have 43 people right now, so that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> We're going to be uh, kind of starting off on the south end of Ginza as I'm walking along here and then uh, basically walking back that way uh, through all the back streets and uh, things like that. So for all of you that are here, I, I appreciate you being here. Thank you. You got it, Drew. I will do that. Thank you very much for the kind words. You're welcome. This is a sushi shop. The only reason I'm pointing it out is this where this was my hell a few years ago. This is where they had the wooden puzzle store. Ugh. Of course, yeah. Inns 3. This is Ginza Inns. It's a bunch of stores going all the way along uh, the Yurakcho Ginza area. Of course, they do have you know what for uh, you know who. I'm not going to mention it. And once you come into this main uh, area from the actual station. You're basically in the Ginza area. This is really weird, ladies and gentlemen. I just noticed the Okinawa store is gone now. What is going on? It makes me wonder. So let's go check out when that closed. This is really weird to see all these prefectural stores closing. You got another one right over there, which I'll be walking by in a minute. I wonder if the one over here is closed. This is really weird. I don't know what to uh, say to you because I did not expect these stores to be closed. Of course, this is uh, Ginza Ichome Station. This is the subway here, one of the exits for the uh, Yurakcho line uh, itself. So, looks like this, the, the a little uh, store, wait, am I lost? No, oh, no, this was, uh, this was where the Okinawa store was. And it looks like it's closed on February 1st. So that kind of sucks. Of course, uh, the Koichi, uh, Koichi Prefecture store, still here. So again, uh, I've come here and bought snacks and uh, different things like that. I think this dude here is pretty freaking awesome, eh? Get your... Uh, Feudal Lord on here, ladies and gentlemen. As we keep coming along here, uh, just around the corner here, let's hope it's still here, <laughs> is, uh, you can check it out, is the Ibaraki Prefectural Store uh, right over in this area here. Of course, my uh, the famous uh, bakery with the $10 bread is over in that way. So you got uh, Ibaraki uh, in this area here. These are all the back streets of uh, Ginza. There's not much going on uh, over here. Once you cross over this highway area, basically Tokyo Station is just right up there. You can see the Shinkansen coming in through there. So at least Ibaraki is still here. Koichi is still here. Oh, look at the little samurai doll. <laughs> Creepy doll. 
Creepy doll, creepy doll, creepy, creepy, creepy doll. Okay, that was enough of that. And as you can see along here, that's the Arakcho area. So the Ginza Inns goes all the way along. Uh, you got the Marui, you got uh, all the um, ah, department stores along here. This is where the highway is coming actually into Ginza too. You can see the ETC kind of just up over there. And uh, as you're walking along south uh, towards Tokyo Plaza, which is that block building up there. You hit up another prefectural store. And there's one right around the corner, which I'm going to come back to in a second here. <coughs> if you are interested in uh, all these prefectural stores, they're scattered about uh, Tokyo area, but there's a concentrated uh, area here in Ginza that has so many prefectural stores. Okay, thank you, Justin. No idea. <laughs> uh, and this is right here. This is the uh, Ishikawa Prefectural Store. Ishikawa, of course, is on the uh, west coast of Japan. <coughs> like that sweet potato looks freaking yummy, doesn't it? Hey, Indigo, how are you? Now, typically these stores will open up anywhere from uh, 10 to 11 a.m., but it is uh, 9.43 a.m. here in uh, Japan. Oh, I've never seen a big fire truck like that in a long time. Huh. And uh, yeah, I, if you are a part of the Emoji Club, ladies and gentlemen, um, we did hit 198 uh, Emoji Club members. Uh, we still haven't hit that 200. Uh, it seems uh, people are not renewing, but that's okay. I do thank you for uh, people that you know, Ramsey Silent, Mom, and uh, El Snaddle Rake, and uh, a few other people. Kumoa, I think, uh, have gifted memberships to help grow our community. And uh, we're doing a really good thing here, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to uh, get into the thick of Arthuria somebody. Good morning. Um, get into the thick of Ginza before we head south. Uh, there's always construction going on. Uh, throughout all these streets, they're redoing a lot of stuff and it just perplexes me. Why can't you just keep Ginza the same? Jeremy says, uh, 19 months of Emoji Cup, hope it grows more, yay, 198. Let's hope we get a little bit more today. As you can see, some of these side streets are a little bit boring. Ohio Zaymas. I always forget your name. <laughs> Mindy's mom or mom will tell me what your name is in English again. Sorry, I don't read Jap or kanji, so. <coughs> but yeah, as we're walking along here, just the beautiness, right? The beautiness. And that's our first Super Chat for Super Chat Saturday. I appreciate it. Thank you. The beautiness of some of these restaurants, some of these stores along the way. And oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, don't I look handsome today? I'm all dressed up. I'm, uh, I got my uh, dress shirt, my pants, and yeah, we even got, we're even walking around in dress shoes today, ladies and gentlemen. Dress shoes. <laughs> no hat. I believe, I might be on the wrong street here, but uh, there's another Hokkaido uh, store, I believe, is just up here. And... Uh, Oh yeah, Congo, that's right. <laughs> Thanks. Not sure where it is up here. No, it's not here. Might be over the next corner, but there's a Hokkaido uh, store along the way here. Of course, uh, you might want to also check out this uh, little store here. Decent, it's a little expensive, but uh, really got good produce. And uh, look at that. I love how they're cleaning before the store opens. You gotta like it. You really do. This here, we found it. It's right here. Oh, they've changed it now, ladies and gentlemen. This used to be uh, a Hokkaido store, and now it's Fukui. 
It's a Fukui Antenna Shop Ginza. So again, Fukui is uh, also on the west coast uh, of Japan, just uh, northwest of uh, Nagoya, actually. But always interesting to see where some of these stores are. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's get uh, into the heart of uh, the Ginza area. Remember for 34 months, Drew looking shiny and dapper, absolutely. Somebody's actually using a, well, I thought they were actually using the uh, phone booth. <laughs> now, of course, the streets here are not shut down um, for a while. They might be shut down at noon, but definitely on Sundays, they do shut them down. Again, look at all the construction going on. This is where the Apple store uh, and the car chase store used to be. So that is just weird that everything is, is uh, being torn down here. I, I, sorry, I'm perplexed. I really am. Kakoi for sure, brother, thank you. Is Ginza the most expensive place in Tokyo? Uh, they say that Ginza is the most expensive real estate in Tokyo, yes. We're gonna be checking out some of the, of course, brand stores here. You got Minx across the street here. I like this Ralph Lauren store. The only reason I like it is they got the cafe going on. They got this little uh, Airstream thing or whatever you want to call it going on. Of course, they got the uh, Ralph's coffee truck right over there. But honestly, the last coffee truck we saw in the live stream, there was nothing better. Absolutely. Oh, no worries, Justin. Just make sure you put at totally Drew and I will answer your questions. Michael Tata, good morning. I don't know if I remember saying hi to you, but good morning to you. And then, yeah, we're coming on to the, uh, obviously the main road here. This is Ginza Ichome area. And uh, this is where everybody comes to take their, the infamous, uh, I know you loved it, mom. <laughs> this is where the infamous, peop, uh, everybody takes pictures of uh, the street area. Maybe this is, no, this is not the Apple store. I'm sorry, I, I apologize. But I think this is where the car chase store, or may, I'm lost. Oh, I'm lost in Tokyo. But yeah, this is uh, the infamous uh, street here. <coughs> a lot of these stores, I can't remember what used to be here. Harry Winston uh, is here. I know Tiffany was along here. Um, look at that, the Ginza Diamond store. Wouldn't it be nice to walk in there? This is the other side of the Ralph uh, Lauren store i like this store i like the way it's displayed the big open uh, windows that looks pretty cool hey fang how are you see 4c bridal is closed down they're going to re renewal re uh, reopening Mar march 1st it's just weird not being able to walk down the uh the middle of the street but you get the idea bulgari is still here but I don't see Tiffany. Tiffany used to be, I think, right there. I don't know if they're renewing everything along here. That used to be Tiffany. Which is weird. Miu Miu. I don't know if anybody of you are familiar, but uh, very popular with the Japanese. So you can see here in Ginza, everything is changing. My goodness. Louis Vuitton, a staple of Ginza, always there. Probably won't change. <laughs> I think the Apple store used to be up at this corner here. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Say if someone wanted to move to Japan permanently, wh what would you need? I know you need a visa, but what type of visa? Um, if you want to move to Japan permanently, to, uh, to be honest, and 9Y, New York Witchers. Definitely come check this place out. Um, you know, start off with a work visa. Um, that's probably the best way to uh, live here uh, and work, of course. Um, unless you came here on a holiday, you know, a working V, I mean, a holiday. Oh, the car chase store is here still. And uh, married a Japanese national, get a Japanese spousal visa, and you can stay as long as they keep renewing your visa. 
but uh, you know, typically 10 years or so before you can apply for permanent residency and contribute to the community, you know, so on and so forth is your best bet. So hopefully that answers a little bit of the little bit of your question there. Chanel is still here, which is pretty good. Simon from Dublin's here. Wow. Hey, Laurie, how are you? Again, the Louis Vuitton is still here. And then we have all the back streets all back in there. I'm not going to be going back through there today. Um, they do have the Kabuki Theater, which is way, way in the back there. I am a permanent resident, yes. How many of you actually like looking at displays of all these uh, brand stores? Always makes me wonder what the, the thinking behind it of how they display stuff. What, ma what makes it attractive to uh, shoppers and things like that, so. Uh, again, you can see this building here. Don't know what was here before, but again, reconstruction, redoing the store inside, it looks like. Good morning, Daniel and Yuka, CE, how are you? My favorite watch shop, of course, because, because ladies and gentlemen, look at that, look at that, it matches. <laughs> Mikey in Vegas, good morning. How are you, brother? Lazar Diamond, Van Cleef, and Arpels. Of course, uh, Matsuya Ginza is a staple here of, uh, of uh, Ginza. Uh, they do have the Gucci store inside. It's a good department store. They got a lot of great foods in the basement, of course. Gucci store right over there. We are a little bit away from the Yamanote line, but I just wanted to bring you into Ginza for a little bit. Then we'll uh, hook back over um, up into the Shiodome area of course <coughs> Mitsukoshi of course on the building you know you got the um, the whole corner up here is where everybody likes to come and take pictures which we're gonna hit up in a second Lord Piana not familiar with Lord Piana I don't like their display looks too meh to me Of course, the first Starbucks in Japan is just back in behind uh, the streets here. We've been there, done that. So yeah, along this uh, here area here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you are a shopper, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of uh, stores to go shopping with and lose your wallet. Hi, Nikki and one. Good morning. Did you work for 10 years in Japan and applied for a permanent residence? No, I did not. Uh, I won't, sorry, I won't give you uh, all the details, but uh, I applied for permanent residence after six years. Drew should be a fancy watch and raffle it. Yeah. Only if I make $2,500 in Super Chats, sure. <laughs> Furla, of course, along the way. And you can see down there, that is the Iraqcho area kind of coming out of the Urakcho area. Right, Christian Funk, I agree. <laughs> Michael Coors along the way here. You do have, of course, you want to check out all, you know, some of these uh, stores along the way. Hey, Jackie Hero, how are you? No days off until next week. Damn, dude. It's case by case there, uh, Envy Justin. Oh, Mikimoto, very famous place. The one area that uh, I do love to come to is uh, this little bakery. This is an institution here in Ginza also. Um, they're not open, they got a lineup already, but amazing things going on here. Check it out. I'm not gonna tell you all the ingredients, but this is, uh, Ginza, Kimuraya, and uh, as you, uh, I'll kind of show you inside the store here, but uh, if you know what these are, right here, can you see them? And they have, this is what the store is famous for. You can see all kinds of different breads, 
and uh, different things inside there. <laughs> Ramen pharmacist knows, of course. And of course, up in this corner, you got the Rico building, you got uh, Sony Plaza over there where they have all the awesome Nissan cars, Nissan, uh, so on and so forth. You're gonna have this amazing uh, facade here. Everybody comes to take pictures. And then you got the Seiko house right behind me here. I'm gonna cross the street over here. Of course, um, if you were to walk up, I think it's up this street here, or up here and over one, is the Kabuki Theater area. There's a bunch of other things that you could be doing um, in and around Ginza. <coughs> Tokyo Plaza is just up over there. And uh, we're gonna hit some of the back streets in a second here. Whoa. Now, yeah, I'm not uh, going to be coming up here too much, but uh, you got the Ginza 6 Mall here. Uh, it was a great thing years ago, and uh, it's not that busy anymore. But I will say that in the basement, they have a few select shops that you really might want to uh, check out, of course. And uh, they got my favorite uh, wh whiskey tasting shop. Um, you can go down and taste like 18 year Hibiki. Yamazaki's, you're paying like, you know, $40, $50 a shot, kind of like we did the other day in a way, but uh, in the basement here. They also have um, some really high-end uh, pastry shops in the basement there. Of course, across the street there, you can see the Prada and a lot of different shopping along the way. I love this Koban, always have, I was, I've always been fascinated with it every time I come to the Ginza area. And yeah, you can see the Seiko clock up there. How amazing is this view right here, ladies and gentlemen, as I try to get an Instagram worthy picture of uh, this whole area here. That is so, so cool. Of course, a lot of people like to come to this shop here, which is also quite popular. Daifuku and all kinds of different things. But look how cute these things are here. <coughs> Mochi, yum, love it. Isn't that cute? It's the cutest little shop. And a lot of people like to come here. These are so good, ladies and gentlemen, Sakura. Yeah, and Sakura season's coming, of course. And then you got the uh, waffle shop mannequin along the way. I'm gonna uh, hit some of the back streets here in a second. Uh, I showed this last time I was kind of walking through here. Would you take me to that Koban? Maybe, only if you're a good girl. <laughs> the Casual Tempura Restaurant. This is a definitely must visit uh, place here in uh, Ginza. Um, like I like a Sakusa Tendon, but this here is my favorite shop. Uh, they've redone it over in the years, and hi everybody if you can see me off the reflection. Um, the num in my opinion, the best tempura shop probably in Tokyo. Uh, it's run by a family. Um, it is amazing, amazing, amazing to uh, come here. And the prices are quite reasonable, but look at this. Like you're getting quality at 1150, 10.50, 9.20, 11.50, Very simple. You, you're, you're really hungry, tendon with ramen, yum. But they actually tell you, you know, for the English you know, speakers out there, tendon, you get two shrimp, two vegetable, one seafood, a boiled egg, miso soup, you know, so on and so forth. So that is amazing. I'm always a good girl. <laughs> you got the back end of GU, a couple other things going along here, but we're gonna go down the, uh, another different side street. We've gotta get back over into the Iraqcho, or not Iraqcho, the Yamanote line, of course. So many beautiful people here in Ginza, including myself, ladies and gentlemen.
for a coffee or a beer. Thank you, uh, my second Super Chat. It is Super Chat Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, so let's help support the community. Well, support me. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. We're going to hit up a vending machine uh, once we're out of the area a bit. I can never say this name. Bottega Veneta. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Big ass Gap store across the street there. So this is a little bit of, um, of Ginza. I just wanted to sh kind of show you as we're walking along here. Uh, one of the other stores that, uh, if you are in the Carche, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's the Big Ass Carche store that we walked by about five minutes ago. There is a private Carche uh, store up up in this area right up there um, appointment only that's for some serious damn shoppers now this display I like this display I actually like 51 likes awesome thanks mom hey Lath. that is a pretty cool looking display so yeah we got to get back towards uh, your uh, the Yamanote line. So that's a little bit of Ginza for you, of course. The beautiful people, the beautiful people. I haven't listened to Marilyn Manson in years. You will see some nice cars along the way, but I don't see anything today. More side streets for CE. Check out this rocket shit, man. This is part of the coach display. I should just do a live stream on displays of stores. Damn, that's pretty cool. I gotta say, that is pretty damn cool, man. I like that. I actually like that. How many of you like uh, coach? I absolutely 100% love looking at store displays. Awesome. Of course, the number one lottery store where everybody lines up. We saw the lineup at the end of uh, last year is uh, right over in here the, uh, by the, uh, the Nishi in Ginza Inns uh, area where we started earlier. Check out this uh, wall here. This whole building is made of glass square tiles. How intimidating or how gorgeous. I'm not sure which one you want to call it, intimidating or gorgeous. I do like Coach and Michael Kors too. It's not crazy. The whole building is made of glass tiles. Just saw another Shinkansen pass by. And of course, here is Tokyo uh, Plaza. <coughs> and uh, a good, I actually uh, like the area. Now, the only thing that sticks out in my mind here, besides the Armani store over there, in the basement, they actually sell caviar and truffle sandwiches. Decent, they got soup stock and different uh, place. They got an amazing bakery. Uh, by the Marinucci line downstairs, uh, some awesome peanut butter cookies. Check out these basement places, and as I turn around, going around here, got the, the Lotteria still here. Of course, you got the Fujia building, which uh, a lot of people like to take pictures of. And as I pan around here, you can see just all kind of what Ginza looks like. Up on the top there, the 11th floor is a free observation area that you can actually take pictures. Uh, of the intersection, kind of like doing the Shibuya crossing thing, of course. But as I turn around here, this is where they had the underground Sony um, area. They changed it, they built it down below, and now it's shut down. Uh, I've, I've gone here on a live stream before. Can't even walk in anymore. So, good morning, Jim and Harriet, how are you? And uh, we're just gonna cross the street over, kind of come down into this area, where of course we're gonna be showing you uh, Actually, maybe I'll go this way. Um, the underground ramen uh, stores and all that, and pass by Hooters. Gotta pass by Hooters, ladies and gentlemen. 
and away we go. Jay Conklin, 69, good morning, and how are you? Gotta find a vending machine. It's, you know, for what seemingly looks like a nice day, it's actually quite windy and cold. And yeah, the Chrome Dome is happening, ladies and gentlemen, so. Of course, this is the, uh, one of the exit entrances to the Marinucci Line, the Hibia Line, and the Ginza Line. Three subways come into this area of Ginza, along with the JR lines uh, that we are following. The Yamanote line is just down over there. Damn this wind, man. Of course, as I come along into the back streets here, tons and tons of stuff to be checking out on the back streets. The Ginza thing just keeps going. You can see Nishi Ginza over here. You gotta cross the road, of course, and you just keep going all the way down. Beautiful little parks, the funky looking clock over there. What I've seen before too. Yeah, thank you, uh, John. Make sure you change to 1080p. We are streaming in 1080, of course. And uh, thank you all for uh, being here. Of course, you got rules. <laughs> Chuo City, Tsukiyabashi Park, which is where we're standing in front of. Hey, Andrew Lubar, how are you? 85 people watching so far. Now oh, we hit 50 likes. Let's work on 100. The more you press that like button, the more YouTube might recommend exposure for my small little channel. The back end of uh, Tokyo Plaza and uh, hey Aysen, thank you. Will this cover for a cup of coffee in Ginza? Maybe. <laughs> <coughs> Appreciate it. My third super chat of the day. Um, there's a, an amazing bicycle parking area over there. Actually, you know what? Let's walk this way, ladies and gentlemen. We'll walk through the park a little bit here. I wanted to take you past Hooters, but we might not make it that way now. How are you, Ice? And hope you're doing well, brother. Of course, you got the latte, duty free, pretty much all over uh, Tokyo, anyways. Check it out, guys. This is Parla, the shot and crepe store. Don't hesitate to be sweet. What a cute little thing going on there, eh? Hey, Robert Wallace, how are you, brother? Hope you're doing well. Okay, well, we don't want to go to the washroom, but yeah, this bicycle area here, I don't know why I'm showing this to you, ladies and gentlemen, but I am. So you have an elevator where you take your bicycle downstairs and there is over a thousand bicycle parking spots down in that elevator, all down underground here. So if you are looking for a bicycle uh, parking area, by all means, it does cost, you know, a dollar or two dollars for the day or whatever it is, but uh, it's worth it instead of parking on the street and getting it towed. These little stores along the way here, these restaurants, it would be so hard to experience every store here in Ginza or any area in Tokyo. It's absolutely insane. Loving the buildings. Not sure if I, I don't really like that up there, but I, what I did like is this area on the first and second floors there. Of course, the main road for Ginza is right up there. The main, or well, not this road here, but up where all the brand stores are. And then, yeah, we're gonna come down into the underground uh, area and uh, walk through again, see if there's any changes in the, one of my favorite places here in Ginza. We've got to make sure we're quick because I got to be at work by one o'clock. A up thing, how's things going today? the hell's with that language <laughs> loving this I have no idea what this is to be honest it says white stone so I'm not sure what's going on there Actually, I've always ignored this area but the building looks damn cool man that is so sweet hey Gregory Lawson how are you I never realized it looks like I don't know if that's 
what's going on up there, but they got like a fence going on. We found a vending machine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please have a hot, hot to coffee. Hot to coffee. They don't have my coffee. I'm gutted. All right, we're gonna keep looking. But again, as, uh, as we're looking along here, you can see all these amazing businesses. It, it just may, it boggles my mind at how many businesses are here in Tokyo area alone. And I'm not even talking about Fukuoka, Osaka, you know, all those other big cities. How do these businesses survive? It just amazes me. Actually, this is really good. They got a sherry club. Hmm, interesting. I think Jason Pointer would like something like that, maybe. I love that. Can you see that up there? The, uh, the balcony there. That is some uh, old architecture right up there. Interesting. My audio is breaking up. Hello? <laughs> is it okay now? Let's check. Well, everything seems to be fine. Is everything okay? Better now. No idea what happened. I touched nothing. I touched nothing. Tracy Garcia, good morning. Ah, sometimes shit happens, people. That's all, but thank you for letting me know. Sorry, I'm putting the microphone back on here. Oh. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me well. Sorry about that. Oh, for Christ's sakes. It might not be my microphone. It might be YouTube. Testing, testing. Should I do a little song and dance? Hello, can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if all the sound is okay, please. Oh, tobacco machine. Hey, Daniel, how are you? Welcome. Thank you, John. Where's Debbie, John? <coughs> We're going to be following the Yamanote line down under there. We've been there before, but I absolutely love this place here. Amazing. Hey, El Snatterick, how are you? Check this out. I'll, I'll come down here and show you, basically show you this little uh, area here. All built underneath the Yamanote line here. The Dang, welcome. Hey, Starshine, welcome back. This is pretty freaking cool, man. See, beautiful people. Like I said, where's Debbie? That is so cool. The ambiance at nighttime would be so amazing here. <coughs> That's amazing. I love even how, you know, they paint all the seafood. Oh, you got some uh, blowfish, halibut. And it might get a little bit fuzzy once I go into the underground over here. But we'll take a walk through, of course. <laughs> this is all shut down right now. Oh, no, it's not. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I remember walking by here a few months ago. Oh, Debbie McKee is here. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Debbie McKee, one of our uh, long time uh, Patreon members, community members. It's her, it's her birthday today. So ladies and gentlemen, cover your ears. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear sister Debbie. I hope you're having a great day, darling. Happy birthday to you. Mwah. That's for you, Debbie McKee. But yeah, check that out, eh? That is so, so amazing. At nighttime, it's all covered, so you can get your, uh, your drink on, your snacks on. That is amazing. Sorry, I'm missing some of your questions there, but yes. I think uh, moderators will answer your questions also. Everybody, please. Oh, look at this. It's leftovers from last night. Everybody, let's give uh, support one of our amazing community members, uh, Debbie McKee, with some hearts in the chat. Let's see a massive thing of hearts to support community members. Hey, Hacksine, how are you? All right, so this is uh, Raman Avenue over here. And we've all actually gone underneath this area before. Uh, but I love walking through here and taking uh, people that are new to the channel here to all these uh, amazing places. I don't know if Raman Pharmacist has actually been here. I bet you he has. <laughs> but this is Raman Avenue, of course, with the, uh, the gaudy looking statue that we got going on right here. If Raman Pharmacist is still here, maybe they can let us know on a scale of 1 to 10 how good this place is if they've been here. But yeah, I'm building underneath the train tracks here is absolutely... No, never been? Oh, okay. <coughs> Always amazing. Now, of course, this is uh, Hibia Okuroji. And uh, this is kind of a map in a way. Just this long corridor that we're about to walk in. And these are all the businesses along here. It's not all restaurants. But uh, yeah, let's get going. And uh, hopefully the reception will be good. I absolutely love this place. It's all built underneath the, the Yamanote line here. And it's just amazing to me. Not only do you have, uh, you know, restaurants and different things like that. You have some pretty cool uh, stores. At least the last time I was here, they had like a small little sock shop and a small little umbrella shop. <clears throat> you got Yorimichi, you got the cafe bar which is uh, all along down back under here. So once you get down here, it's actually pretty cool. This looks amazing. Oh, thank you, Spider Fresh. I appreciate it. Uh, we're at 81 likes already, ladies and gentlemen. Man, if we can get to 100 before the hour, that'd be pretty freaking awesome. This is uh, Tokyo Noble. This is the little umbrella shop I was talking to you about. Right there. Isn't that cool? Now you will see some of the original uh, station walls along this way and it's just it's just an amazing thing you know to uh, see all these things of course you do have exit exits every once in a while pretty cool looking tunnels you know you can see the shape of the tunnel as you're walking out you can even see like into the back area there's nothing here It'll open up a little bit more. Of course, you got Schmatz Beer Hall. Yeah, whatever. And it's nice to walk through here, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing is open right now. It's quiet. And we can actually take a look at some of these places while getting in people's way. This is uh, Parola. Uh, it's a patisserie. Did I say that right? Patisserie. which is pretty cool. And of course, uh, you got the cook bar in Tokyo with the funky cow. We've seen this before for some of them. Oh, see you, Fang. Can't stick around, huh? <laughs> I, like, I like the sign here. It says, smile, you're on camera. Okay, where's the camera? 
smile your own camera. I would think it, it looks pretty cool, I guess, you know, yada, yada, yada. I like to see the different cuts of the cow. I like those kind of things. Okay, where's the camera? I don't see a camera, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see the camera. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? See, that's a, a bit better looking of the shop there. Still pretty nice. I like the little seating areas that you can have along the way here. Again, more exits out onto the side streets there. And we're just gonna keep going. Here is the original wall, of course. I remember the first time uh, I saw this place, I was uh, Shinichi from Tabby Eats actually, or Shinichi's World, uh, came and did a video on this. And that's what made me come here. And I've been here like four times now. No, they're not common at all actually, Daniel. Look at that. Like just the ambiance of having the original walls still, instead of, you know, like everything being painted and things like that. <laughs> Start showing. This is, to me, amazing. You got the Niigata store here. This is one of the prefectural stores down here. Absolutely insane, isn't it? This is Ichimarumaru. So Niigata 100, beautiful store. I was in here uh, just about a month ago shopping. Hiromi, my wife, took me here for whatever reason. Paula from Texas, I don't understand, cats in boxes or something. So yeah, not sure what they're doing over there as we're uh, kind of walking through. They do have some information I've noticed. Um, yeah, I don't even know how to pronounce his name but this is a collection of the railway museum. He was a German railway engineer, so on and so forth. As I turn around, this one, of course, that is a pretty damn cool photo from 1914. I just don't know exactly what it means. Hey, Nancy Ann, how are you? But the one thing I've noticed is some of these places are empty. Oh wait, this isn't empty, sorry. Is that one of those free piano places? or maybe it's a recital hall. Looks like a free piano place, but why would they have chairs set up around here? But yeah, everybody's getting ready, I guess, to open up their stores. We will get into some of the, uh, oh, see, they got more information here. Franz Balzer. German railway engineer. So it looks like they got a lot of, uh, you know, people credited to building the, uh, the railways and things like that. He, this guy here, he graduated from the Department of Civil Engineering, um, so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna be hitting some of the restaurants along the way here. Yeah, absolutely spider fresh. I'll just kind of try to walk a bit more now instead of stopping off at every one because we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us, so. <coughs> also, for Patreon members, live, uh, uh, we're going to be doing a Patreon live stream from my home tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, which is your Saturday night or Sunday, depending on where you live in this world. So just to let you know that. Hopefully some of you can join. Carnivore. Guess what they sell here? <laughs> Bottled wine! You got the public house coming up here. Who doesn't like ball, sir? <laughs> Again, I like this little gang public house. I've never been here. I wanted to have a beer here and I was told no. But what I do like is how, again, you know, uh, when we were at Tokyo Station, remember how I said they, they build businesses inside these little cubby holes? This is obviously opened up underneath here. That's still a pretty cool site, in my opinion, anyways. Looks like, uh, 
to open. Meeting outside. Around what time? Uh, I'm thinking around 9 a.m. Which would be 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Around the usual time. Teppanyaki, steak and lobster. I know a better, I hate to brag, but I, I do know a better teppanyaki place, but look, okay, I got the live lobsters already floating around for the day. I bet you they were in Tsukiji or Toyosu or whatever the hell the place is called nowadays. Bought their lobsters. Bye bye lobsters. You're gonna make somebody happy later. Hey Skull Crusher, how are you? Just looking at the prices here, they got steak course here. Only $48, $68. The steak and abalone is 80 bucks. Steak and lobster course, 120. The steak and recommended seafood, omakase, is uh, $140. So, interesting. Bye, Ansi. So yeah, this is what I actually like about down here, is just this view of the old brick, just how they've uh, respected it and kept it intact intact that's still pretty cool 89 likes thank you appreciate it like i said i can walk down here and live stream every day it's so pretty cool down here it just amazes me how they've uh, respected the whole area as you I'll give you kind of a view to, on the way down there Oh, thank you, Jim and Harriet. Have you had your favorite coffee yet? No, I'm still looking for it. But thank you for your super chat. I appreciate the support. This is my second last live stream, ladies and gentlemen, of the month. Uh, I will be live streaming tomorrow also uh, after our Patreon video. So, um, yeah. I do thank you all for uh, an amazing February. It's... Uh, it's been a whirlwind, you know. I've been, uh, of course, busy with work, but uh, trying my best to be with the community as always. Can't read the sign there. Hibia Okuroji, Okuroji? But still, like that is so amazing to have the original wall and then they built it in between, you know, the underground here and the street level area. Pretty freaking awesome, man. Sorry, yeah, it does have a bit of an odd connection, of course. I apologize. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going, ladies and gentlemen. You can see some remnants of the brick wall here. <coughs> I haven't found a vending machine yet, but I will. I want to take you guys through this other old alleyway here. Adet, how are you? God, you sound like my aunt. <laughs> oh no, her name was Adele, sorry. So as we continue underneath the train tracks here. Ah, oh, Corey's here. Corey! Okay, it's Ura Corey. But still, it was Corey. You see, all, see this is like a, an empty spot here that I'm sure that they're going to build something. Some sort of a business will come down into this area. That's, pretty, that's a pretty big area. Rent's probably gonna be high. Then you got these, like these little izakayas down the bottom here, which is pretty sweet. Look at this wall. That is so weird. Hi, Sandra C, how are you? 91 likes, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm. Creepy tunnels as we're passing by. Pretty bright out there. Oh my goodness. I'm getting hungry. Actually, a little expensive. That karage dinner, 880 yen. Yeah, a little expensive, but I guess for the uh, vibe. Hey, we found the bar. We found the bar. I'm going to be setting up. Setting up his business out here. Pretty cool. It's 
like a sushi shop or no? I'm not sure. And this just keeps going, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, obviously, this is the older original area, probably, from what I'm thinking. And oh, vending machine! Hey, hey we found it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let me turn the camera around and say hi. To uh, hi, everybody. Uh, thank you. Welcome to Super Chat Saturday, and uh, I appreciate the community being here. Of course. Uh, where are we? Okay, wait. We've got to go this way. There we go. Hi. I'm getting a coffee here. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody, uh, honestly, for your support, for uh, making this community what it is. Um, $140 yen for a freaking coffee. I, I hate paying these prices. You can hear the train going by above. But you know what? We finally got our coffee. Please don't give me six yen. 10 yens. Where's my freaking coffee? A uh, little bit of a tip. Yeah, it's hot, but uh, always, I, I wear a glove. I have wet wipes. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh my God, coffee time. Mm. Oh, that felt so much better. But yeah, if you are a part of the Emoji Club, please always, you know, check out the uh, community page. I try to update, it, update you guys as much as possible on uh, what's going on with the Emoji Club. We hit 198 um, Emoji Club members. Uh, sometimes I know Ramsey Silent today, thank you, gifted uh, a membership, but it might not put us over the 200 because it might renew people that are already still a part of the Emoji Club. But thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I really do. Uh, you like my dress coat, by the way? I'm looking kind of dapper, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I got to refresh because I'm still at the vending machine on my original one. And uh, yeah, let's get going. We're going to hit up Shiodome kind of area as we continue walking through here. And you can see it opens up up, up top there, so it's not completely um, rainproof, I guess you could say. Jack Wilson, good morning. TG, I'll just call you 40 ouncer, I remember you. Thank you for being, uh, coming back. Leone gifted five memberships, wow. Thank you, Leone. Appreciate it, hopefully uh, everybody gets uh, part of the Emoji Club. SS Japan, good morning. Kent okay, how are you? <coughs> and then the yeah. Oh, that guy just scared the hell out of me. Whoa. This all again comes out. Now this is a pretty cool view in my opinion, having the green kind of uh, trusses or whatever you want to call them along the way here. Isn't that amazing, guys? To me that is so cool. And that is part of the Yuri Court uh, area here. And we could just keep going. Oh no, we can't. It ends. So we got to come out. I don't want to go that way. I will get lost in Tokyo, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Lori, Lori, how are you? Are you noticing my new coat before I mentioned it? Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Leonie. And boom, we are outside one more time here. And ah, oh, you can see how even how fast the clouds are moving along the way here. Absolutely insane. But as you look on the outside, you can really tell, you know, how amazing, you know, these walls all look. And it's just absolutely insane. Oh, thank you, mom. Yes, son, you look very dapper, even if I do say so yourself. <laughs> I got to impress the ladies. Got to impress the ladies. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, see, I just noticed something in the corner of my eye here. I want to walk down here. 
Oh, I can walk down. Just a short little area, but check this out. You can see a bit of the construction where something either used to be or maybe they're just not going to be anything. And this is the outside again. Look at that. That is just too cool to be school, man. Love it. I love the signage up there. It's so, so cool. Uh, Justin, refresh, please. You might be far behind. Not sure, but uh, just in case. This looks like an abandoned, uh, used to be a restaurant here. Maybe it still is. No, it looks pretty abandoned. I can see a lot of, uh, as construction cronies would say, drywall. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, okay. Let's uh, turn here. No idea where I am. I haven't got a clue. But I guess we'll go by... Uh, we're on the Ginza line. And this is... Uh, Shimbashi Station, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the uh, Keihinta Hoku line train going up across the street there. And we are hitting uh, the Shimbashi area. She's going to come out into uh, the sunshine, out of the sunshine here. Kind of show you part of the side roads as we're walking along here. Jack Wilson, thank you so much. Your new you and the J Vlog community have been an inspiration. The J Vlog, really? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Luis, how are you? I wonder if Drew knows if his audio is starting to step. I can still hear him on my end. I just wonder if he can hear me. If you're there, Drew, please give me a sign. Um, I don't know what's going on with the microphone, ladies and gentlemen. Or if you guys are maybe having, maybe it's uh, YouTube problems. I don't know. Sorry. Um, if it's. Uh, is happening, but there's nothing that I've done wrong. I'm not touching anything, so. But thank you so much, I really appreciate that. We are heading towards, uh, we've got 119 people, so let's get to those 100 likes. Just checking the map. We are hitting uh, Shimbashi uh, Station area of course one of the uh, areas here of course all the McDonald's are gonna show up hello ultra how are you hope you're feeling well today darling and I started at Yurakcho and we are hitting uh, Shimbashi in the Shiodome area oh Taiyaki that's for Indigo Rose down there I see every time I see matcha I gotta point it out for Indigo Rose. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have vending machines. Oh, still 140 yen. Vending machines in Tokyo. I'm just looking, if I find coffee that's cheaper, I'll be pissed. <laughs> All right, so uh, we have hit. Oh, lottery booth. I'm going to wait till next week to do a lottery booth. This is uh, Shimbashi Station, one of the coolest stations just due to the, uh, the wall going along this way here. I've always loved this station. I think it's damn cool myself. I do have the sunshine in my eyes, so it's going to be a bit difficult to uh, see some of the comments. When you come out of here, like this, too bad this is all blocked off, but you got the, uh, the train over there, always a great sign. And as you turn around, just the, this area is so, so cool, man. And you can see up there, the Yamanote line is coming in. Absolutely love this station. You know, being a train geek that I am, seeing trains whoa pigeons um, seeing trains seeing uh, stations 
Do any, any of you else uh, like stuff like this? Just wondering myself. It is the 150th anniversary of the railway here. It says right there in the green. And they got some, what is that, Pokemon stuff going on. Which is kind of cool. Is Elise in Alabama here? How are you? Long time. Hope you and Janet are doing well. Hi, Elise and uh, Janet. That's pretty cool. Not sure what this store here is. Fans? Oh, huh, it's fans. <laughs> I thought it fans like as in... <coughs> no, it's shoe shine. called fans. Huh, okay. But yeah, this area is pretty damn sweet. We're going to walk, keep following the train tracks down. I wanted to go the other side, but I'm going to stick on this side, I guess, now. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lori. Oh, we got 98 likes. Awesome, guys. We're going to hit 100. Let's hope. But thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all. I'm only following this road because of the... Uh, uh, can you say that in a super chat there, please? For the person that just uh, private messaged me. <laughs> I just love... Too bad they got the, uh, the wall here. It'd be nice to see uh, how everything is deteriorating and uh, maybe they're fixing it up. Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. No worries, Mikey. Dax Wolf, good morning. Boom, 105. Thank you, Ramsey Silent. Now, there is another exit up here. Um, I'll let you know what exit it is, but this is kind of the area you want to visit at nighttime. Um, I will be doing a uh, night live stream coming up soon, back in this area for Patreon only. Um, I just haven't been able to get, on, get out at night. Uh, I was requested the Shia Dome area. Uh, I mentioned that, uh, I think on the last live stream, but we will be doing it. This is uh, Karasumori entrance. So if you come out into this entrance here, you can easily get out into these uh, areas. I just think that visiting this area here is pretty cool. We'll take a quick walk around, of course. I hear a crow. We have Pachinko, the Uno, which is one of the more popular. Uh... Okay, that crow is freaking out like crazy. This area might be on somebody's list. You never know. <laughs> I remember last time we found something really creepy along here. I just can't remember what it was. So maybe we can find it again. I can revisit it. We got the Shinbashi Nurse Monogatari. Huh. For all some of you guys there, I don't know. You might want to come visit this place. Lots of massage. That's for uh, Mr. Mike Hawk. <laughs> Open top bus stream, I will be doing once the weather gets a little bit better, of course. Standing sushi bar. Hey, 75 yen for uh, some of these uh, things here is not a bad looking price, I gotta say. Might not be the greatest though. I don't know what it is about me, but whenever I see cheaper prices on uh, nigiri sushi, I sometimes think, oh, it's not going to be the greatest, but it's still better than probably back home. So as we are walking along here, remember uh, moderators, you can't answer some of the questions that I miss. Of course, this is the tuck shop. So you're going to come here to Japan. You're going to play your Uno uh, Pachinko or any other Pachinko store. Um, if you do win or cash out or whatever, they're going to give you these plaques because they can't actually give you cash uh, for the Pachinko itself. But then you can come to these things called the Tuck Shop and basically exchange those plaques for cash, which is uh, pretty cool. Oh, they got a uh, local curry shop right here I, I, I missed. Yeah, thank you, Leonie. 
it's amazing how a lot of these small little uh, places are you know open and uh, you know a lot of the locals know which ones to do of course remember last time i was here you got the lemon sour 100 up there i love that sign always have always always have 100 times lemon sour you have a little park over here which i've shown before in, in live streams it's just weird to see some of the homeless people and things like that yamanote line we're still following it as we go along here but we are checking out uh, different areas along the way here <coughs> i'm going to come out through this way here of course you got your little girl bars and you know all your snack clubs and and whatnot Remember how I always tell you guys the alcohol trucks are pink? They really are. Yeah, isn't that what you said you'd be making curry? <laughs> I just want to come back in here because I see a sign called the Salamander. Charge is 500 yen. But check it out, ladies and gentlemen. How awesome are these back alleyways? Eric, how are you? I just got to put your... Uh, you guys down on uh, one of the things here, give you a nice little bit of a view here as I light up a quick smoke. There we go. To me, there's nothing better than Tokyo back alleys because there's nothing horrible about them. You know, even at nighttime, these would be safe. Got vending machines along the back here. Well, my coffee's a little cheaper, but it's cold coffee. And it just brings us back out towards the, uh, the station area here. We've got 107 people in the chat right now. I think our maxed out was 119. So thank you guys for being here. I'm gonna refresh my stream. And check it out. How awesome is that? Right? This place at night is amazing. And uh, I, the next time I'm in this area at night stream, I don't know if it'd be public or uh, Patreon actually, I might be having a guest with me. But to me, that is so freaking awesome. Like, and the smell of them starting to cook. And this is Hidakaya here, my favorite restaurant, as I always say. Pretty damn cool, man. Okay, I'm back in the chat here. No worries. <coughs> I just want you to have the best experience. Look at that. These are places you definitely want to visit. Nick was here, how are you? Very Blade Runner. <laughs> I gotta always put up my, uh, my glasses and stuff, but there's that lemonade, lemonade, the lemon sour sign. And just giving you an idea of what this whole area is about. Hopefully uh, I'm not standing in any car ways. But check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got Babe. But look at it, look at it. We got the lounge bar. Crows! I definitely gotta come check this place out. Oh my god. It's crows! <laughs> Not familiar with all these things down the back here. We've got Hachibe. I'm not sure what Hachibe is, but... Hey, Cobra! My evil twin, good morning and welcome. Thank you for being here. Okay, so... That is uh, kind of the Shimbashi area. I just can't remember which way to go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I want to go that way yet. I want to cross underneath here. Maybe, let's see, let's check. There's no sidewalk. Huh. 
I am not jaywalking here. So, yeah, we're going to have to go this way. This guy here is holding a sign. And it's just basically pointing to the JRA, the Japan Racing Association, for everybody, which is that building actually right over there. Um, satellite horse race betting, so on and so forth. So. Can I be a guest on a stream? Please, I'll be in Japan in July and again in October. Well, if you find me. I know you're on John Dobbs stream that one time. <coughs> I don't mind anybody approaching me during live streams. <coughs> Just uh, try to give me a heads up in a way. Now, we are going to be crossing. I've shown you guys that, that shrine before. I think I want to cross this way, and there's a reason why. And uh, we're going to go show you the uh, Ghibli clock. So a little bit of a detour. Hamamatsucho is basically down that way, uh, which is our final destination today. Uh, if you do want to stay in the area, you get the Tokyo Stay, which is a reasonably priced hotel uh, in the area. And it does, you know, from... Okay, I see a yellow car coming. Nah, it's nothing special. What is that? What is that? That is a... Ferrari. Wow, it is something special. That's a few years of uh, salary. Yeah, I, I, I'm still horrified of Christmas 365. Yeah, where is she, by the way? Oh, and moderators, I will be uh, talking to you guys in the chat later on after this live stream also for something. So please check the messages in the line group after that, please. Yellow cars are always special. Oh yeah, mum is back now because Papa Mike went to work, I think. So as you can see, the, uh, Yam the uh, Yamanote line just passed by us, of course. Hey, Jason, how are you? Do I need coffee for, this talk for talking to you? Yes, you do. <laughs> <coughs> So again, Shimbashi Station is right down there. As long as you're following the area here, and I'll show you why. Uh, did you ever go to that hidden shrine down the really narrow pathway, John Dodd? I've been there a few times, yes. Uh, so is Tokyo Lens, so is a few people. So again, you can see JR Shimbashi. This is on that area where we kind of were walking. We're coming down into here, and then we're coming up here to the Nippon Television Tower. Shiodome Tower area down into here and then we'll continue back down here. Of course Hamariku Gardens is very close to here. One of the uh, other places that you will, might be of interest to check out. Tatsuya, good morning. No, today's the start of his weekend. Oh, I was just finishing up making dinner. Always loud underneath the train tracks, of course. Oh, I'm gutted. I don't hope I don't have to go up the stairs. We're just making a bit of a side track here to show you uh, how to get to the uh, clock. Uh, some of you might be interested in uh, visiting this clock, so that's why I'm coming over this way. And uh, oh, we got we still got a bit of time here, so. Yes, it is in Akihabara. It's right behind Carl Jr.'s. But honestly, yeah, the, the hidden shrine thing there, eh, you know what, I, on, on our Lost in Tokyo travels, I found so many better places now that that is just so passe. I don't know what the word is, but, oh, these stairs are gonna kill me. No. 
No, I hate stairs. Stairs are evil. Isn't that crazy though? I'm going to stop for a sec. We went from a pretty cool area in Shimbashi uh, and Yurakcho, Ginza areas to nothing. It's just building after building after building now. Please pass by Shiba Park Hotel. Let's we'll see what we can do. All right, here goes the stairs. Oh, no, come on, knees. You can do it. Everybody, give me some hearts in the chat for these damn stairs. Oh. <laughs> Jovis Angel, how are you? Oh. I'm doing pretty good here, guys. Oof. Oh. There is the monorail right over there. Oh, you guys gave me hearts? That's so nice. Thank you. Yeah, cardio is good. But when you have problems with your feet, your knees, yada, yada, yada challenging okay <clears throat> so again right over there is Shiodome uh, part of the monorail you could get on from there or walk from Shimbashi like we did as you're coming along this way here there goes the monorail there as we're walking Pretty quiet, only six cars. And then as we turn around, this here, ladies and gentlemen, is the clock. Whew. I don't know what times it actually goes off at, but this is a, an amazing piece of work here. I'll zoom in one time. Isn't that cool? I am gutted. Hashtag Takoyaki. <laughs> so some of you might appreciate uh, me showing you this clock today. If you do, please smash that like button. We're going to get a bit closer. <coughs> As I've kept in zoomed. The detail on this clock is amazing. I'll start off on the uh, right side here from the feet or whatever you call these things. Oh, I just tripped over a thing here. So you got these claw kind of style feet. Look at the amazing detail. It's absolutely insane. I kind of walk and I'll zoom back out in a minute. Christ, they even got rope underneath here. That is so cool. And it's 11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. See you, Ram. Look at that. I'm going to try and stand here in the middle, and I'm going to zoom back out for one quick and yeah, we almost got the whole clock in to the view here. It's pretty cool, man. For all you uh, fans out there, hopefully you enjoy this. Now it'd be pretty cool to see it in action. I've never seen it in action from, uh, you know, the gears moving to these uh, creepy whatever moving, I guess. And, Whatever else is going on, you got bell head up there. <laughs> it has talons, it does. So there you go. And look what's over there, ladies and gentlemen. Tokyo Tower. So I'll just uh, give you a quick view as we're walking away from it. Pretty, co pretty cool, eh, guys?
Now, I think there are, if I remember correctly, no, there's nothing. Or is there something? I don't know. There's a nice little garden area here. But, yeah, I didn't see an elevator. I thought there was an elevator here. Maybe, ah, let's check it out. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, the creepy statues again. Remember this, guys? For some of you, you might remember. There's always got something creepy in this area. Amanda C, hey, how are you? <laughs> I got my butts in the air and I cannot lie. <laughs> I have no idea. I, besides these things, I like this statue. I like the patina on it. It uh, looks old. Nice little garden. You got a bit of a bloom happening here. Looks like uh, some plum, a plum tree by itself over there. Oh, I got some stairs here I can go down. Shinkansen. Shinkansen. Going to Nagoya, at least. Next stop. Shin Yokohama. I didn't realize there were stairs right here. So again, stairs. Oh, okay, here we go. Come on, Drew, you can do it. You can do it! So I do appreciate every, everybody being here. I hope you're enjoying these Yamanote line travels. Um, we're going to continue on with Yamanote uh, travels until we finish the whole loop. I wanted to actually do something a bit different today, but uh, we got to get back over to Shinjuku, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, I believe, will be Hamamatsucho to uh, Shinagawa, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> the sad part is, is, you know, as we're continuing along here, I've got to walk way over there to get to the area. Now, again, just to show you, those are the stairs I went up earlier. Check out uh, this building area here, and that's where the clock is. Or, simple enough, go to the Shiodome. Um, is it Shiodome? Uh, Freaking monorail, man. She's doing downward dog. What does downward dog mean? <laughs> okay, so now uh, we're going to be heading into obviously the uh, Hamamatsucho area for the next half an hour. <coughs> and uh, you know, you might want to come visit this uh, little shrine on the corner here. You might want to, you never know. But we're going to be hitting the back streets in a second here. That is Shiodome. Okay, I'm, I, I was second guessing myself there. I'm going to take my glove off here. It's getting a little warm now, thank God. Ah, sorry for the, the shaking and shaking. This is uh, Hibia Shrine, Inari Shrine coming up over here. Then we're just going to make our way into the back way there. Oops, I just, I just closed up my own damn live stream. Oops. 108 people. 119 likes. Let's get to 120. Let's do it, people. Down dog is a yoga position? Never knew that. <laughs> of course I don't do yoga. Could you imagine totally Drew doing yoga? That would be a viral video. Not. Again, you can uh, see a bit of the uh, 
the city of Tokyo and the area, of course. Awesome, Vin. Thank you. That's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for all your super chats, for all your likes. Truly appreciate it. Small little shrine area here. I'm not going to be going upstairs because I just don't want to. But again, you know, maybe if you're into Instagram and uh, things like that, you might want to uh, come take pictures here. You know, along the travels that we do, you know, there are a lot of Instagram uh, worthy places along the way, of course. You could make it a shorts video. <laughs> You guys really want me to do this downward dog thing or something? Jesus. You guys are so sadistic. I'm telling you. You're so sadistic. Now the area that we're coming into is a little bit meh in a way. But the architecture, you will absolutely love at least in my opinion I think you will <coughs> why did my phone shut off that's weird sorry I'm just having technical difficulties with my second phone here it would help with the knees is swastik here how are you swastik Chica, somebody, Chicago. Welcome to my workplace area, Shimbashi. Welcome to the stream. No, Jim and Harriet, you are so bad. Thank you for the support, but you're so bad. All right, let's take a look. Vending machine. No, nothing really interesting. Actually, this ginger ale, if you're a ginger ale lover, is actually pretty good. I will say that. Hey, Auntie Mambo, how are you? Now, i got to cross underneath the train tracks in a minute because we're going to be hitting up a place called Italy Park. <coughs> wow, the wind is crazy here. Holy Christ, what? You know, since Cobra's been on this live stream, oh, we found my coffee again. 130, so 10 yen cheaper. I haven't seen any uh, tomato juice at all. You've jinxed it, Cobra. My goodness. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting area. Uh, between uh, Shimbashi and uh, Hamamatsucho. Uh, it's more of an Italian influence. And as you can see, the architecture is pretty freaking awesome. Different style buildings. We've gone through uh, this area once before. And uh, it's, it's kind of, you know, worthy to walk through in a way. I'm going to uh, cross the street and turn left. And then we're going to be hitting like the little Italy. There's the main road right there, ladies and gentlemen. So as we uh, come across here, you can see you can walk underneath uh, the Hibia line or the, uh, the Shinkansen and uh, the Yamanote line. Nice looking family mart, actually, surprisingly enough. The architecture along here is amazing. I know Forsyth would absolutely love those lanterns up there if uh, she is still here. I'll zoom in for one time for some Forsyth. And for some of you that like, I know, it's a lamppost, right? I'm wondering why all these uh, old guys security for crosswalks and stuff are around. This is the JRA building right here. This is the winds where you can winds Shiadome where you can do your satellite horse racing, you know, so on and so forth. Now along here is a beautiful street, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is uh, the little Italy, I guess you would call it. Cobblestone roads. They even had to cut the cobblestone out just to make the Japanese uh, street markers like they always do. <clears throat> Last time I was walking along here, um, they actually had food trucks set up in this area here, but they don't have them today, which is a little uh, saddening. Oh, it's 1111 on my cell phone clock. Make a wish, everybody. But this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys is uh, just the amazing buildings, the colors. It's actually really, really nice here. I just, I find this area is, is uh, underutilized in a way. I think we actually saw um, firefighters way, way, way down that way doing practice one time on a live stream many, many months ago. Well, yeah, this is the food truck area. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kind of go back under the tracks. Let me check my map first. I don't think I can uh, get under the train tracks a different way. Or maybe we can. Okay, let's try. Let's try going uh, a bit down this way. Might have to backtrack. I'll show you a little bit more of the area. I, you know, honestly, the street, the, the street lined with trees is quite beautiful. Loving the big buildings. No idea on that one, Starshine. Things do change though, so, but I bet you there, I'm sure there is still. And the big building, I got a freaking, is that a Ferrari or a Lambo or something? Right there, another Ferrari. Got the Yamanote line going by in the background there. Sweet. And then, yeah, you're going to have all these uh, amazing restaurants along the way, which is still pretty cool. I think it was down the next street where we saw the firefighters doing their practice session that time. Natural lawsuit. What's the difference? Not much. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, it is a pretty cool area. I think so. I like the colors of the buildings and uh, different things like that. To me, it's always been, uh, like I said, under, under, utilized area this is where they do the building uh, where they do the firefighting uh, practices uh, you can actually see the wind out of the window up there still so they practice out of those three or four windows up there uh, the last time i saw this uh, happening but they got something construction going on or something like that now so see you later Good morning. Oh, I didn't realize we're passing by the Mitsui, Mitsui Garden Hotel. This is, of course, the Shiba Fire Station um, building. We are going to come along this way here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, see if we can actually get under the train tracks to go visit this park area. Hamamatsu Cho is just on the other side of all those big buildings there, of course. Stop crying, stop crying. 127 likes, wow, people. You guys are an amazing community. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, all of you. I hope you've all subscribed. We've almost hit 8,100 uh, subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. I think that when I started this live stream, we were at 8,098. So that'll be pretty cool. What is he doing? No idea. I don't think I'd want to live in those towers there. Might be a little bit noisy.
That's the best like total we've had during a live stream. So thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate that. You guys freaking rock, man. Hey, Construction Cronies in the house. I mentioned you probably about 45 minutes ago, young man. We found some drywall. <laughs> there goes the monorail again. Limited Express uh, train along the way. Yamanote line, of course, in front of us. Okay, where's this guy going? Does he know somewhere I don't? I thought that was Irvin in disguise. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I'm gutted. I hate wind. I hate wind. Let's try again. Yay, I did it. So, once we come across this area here, <coughs> underneath the monorail, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys Italy Park. Some of you guys have been with me uh, a couple years ago when I actually showed you this before. But uh, yeah, you got to come under the train tracks where the Shinkansen is going through the monorail. Um, and up into this little park here. Oh, thank you, Michael Tata. I appreciate that comment. So I'm going to uh, try and start off uh, at one end or whatever once we get inside. But again, like all these buildings between the, the trains area over here, the highway is this place called Italy Park. And uh, oh, I got an itchy nose. Hold on one second here to that guy over there. So this is Italy Park. Might be somewhere that you might be interested in coming to visit. You never know. But I hope you, you know, we're in the dead of winter, of course, but uh, still, you know, people do come. I'll show you the map area of where we are. Of course, you got Hamariku Gardens down in here. We are in this little here, this Italian garden area. All oh, those two apartment buildings are the Tokyo Twin Parks, Shiodome and up into uh, Shimbashi area, and then Hamamatsucho, is uh, right in here. So this is the area that we are in, right here. You wouldn't want to be in the high rise during an earthquake? Ah, it's not as bad as you think, Mom. The, I think the construction here and the earthquake measures are pretty safe, but yeah, I still wouldn't want to be inside. I understand what you're saying. So, little garden, too bad it's not uh, you know, got the flowers going on and stuff, but they got all these uh, statues going along here. And this is what I wanted to show you here. Again, they're all hidden in the bushes here. So hopefully you enjoy uh, this little bit of the park. Something a bit of a, off the beaten path, of course, but I'll just walk by quickly. The water fountain is not really uh, working very well here but you can see a little bit of water dribble coming out of her little water pot that she's uh, holding there <coughs> kind of give you an idea of this whole park area here and in the springtime it's all full of flowers and and whatnot One thing I'm going to ask Vin to research here is, uh, not this guy sleeping, but these walls here, these look like original 
walls maybe. I'm not sure if there's anything significant to this. Catalpa, how are you? So yeah, you got walls here, got a guy sleeping away. It's not a bad little area. A little garden area if you like things like that, right? I don't know what this lady is doing, but maybe she just looks after the area. They do have English, I believe, or it's Italian. La Antonio Umberto to I uh, just best not be reading these things. A lot, I've seen a lot of people come here and do uh, TikTok videos for whatever reason a couple years ago. I like the columns. I like this kind of shot right here. I think that looks pretty cool. I really do. Okay, we gotta hurry up. I don't have much time left. I do have to catch a train because I have to be at work. I'm working 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. today. A weird Saturday that I'm hours that I'm working, but oh, I like this statue. It's finally a guy with a beard. Could you imagine if these statues jumped out and scared the hell out of me? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Star shine. <laughs> I didn't notice this building over here before. That looks kind of weird. It's got gardens on each level and stuff. But as we're uh, scrolling around this area here, this is uh, the view of the garden. This is little, little Italy Park, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you've enjoyed that little area there. Now I'm I'm truly lost. So. I have no idea where I'm going, if I have to go back the other way or if I have an exit coming out. But again, nice little areas here. I hate that shift. Oh, I chose I chose the shift. Shinkansen. I don't normally work those, but you are right, Mom, of course. I don't know where this is going to take me. I'm scared, ladies and gentlemen. Should I keep going up that way? I might get stuck. Well, I guess we're going to try. Good night, Indigo. You can see how the monorail curves around uh, throughout the Tokyo city, of course. Well, it looks like we're going on a bit of an adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here comes the monorail. Look at that, the monorail, the Amanote line. Usually I'm walking on that side, so this is all new to me too, ladies and gentlemen. It's these freaking stairs, man. This is Acti Shiadome. Getting my uh, geek on. Of course, I believe that's the World Trade Center uh, in Hamamatsucho, that black building, and that's our end point today. <coughs> but we will be finishing on the platform station area. Because I want something special to show you. <sighs> okay, remember, at Totally Drew, if you got questions for me, but I see something from... Uh, Jim and Harriet, there are people who earn a living being a statue. Where do you apply? <laughs> the park was designed by Italians. When you work one to 10, you're working the same time I am? Damn. Yeah, I usually am nine to six. But I'm gonna be watching uh, a teacher's lessons today, so. Um, that's why I'm working late today. Oh, we're at 128 lakes. Wow, that's so cool. I've never walked along here, so I do hope I have access. Kind of. I just saw this building in the corner of my eye there. That just looks like an eyesore in Tokyo to me. 
I can get used to all these buildings along here. But that one was kind of an eyesore. Yes, I'm heading in the right direction. Five a.m. to two p.m. Damn, Sandra. You get up at three a.m. for work? What time do you go to bed? Seven p.m. This is a kind of a cool view. I like how the Shinkansen is going by off to the right-hand side there. A lot of Shinkansen viewing. Hey, this might be a good spot to view Shinkansen. You know, like I said, there's a good spot over at Tokyo Dome. I mean, uh, Tokyo Station. And then over at Nippori Station. But look at this. you got a clear shot right at Shinkansen. Right through the, the glass. That's pretty cool. The stairs will be the death of you, right? Uh, I don't know. Konnichiwa. Oh, so you got Gold's Gym inside here. Me working out. Yeah, okay. Uh. And Gold's Gym, if you have tattoos of any sort, they will not let you sign up. I even offered to cover my tattoos, and they were basically still like, yeah, nope. I know where I am. Hamamatsu Cho Station is right over there. At least I think so. <laughs> I love how I know where I am. Well, at least I think so. Just a top level view here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, what the hell is the name? There's a wonderful little garden area here. We passed by Hamariku Gardens. Let me see what the name of this garden area is here. Oh yeah, Kyushiba Riku Gardens is right here. So holding this area here. Of course, uh, Hamariku Gardens, I've done a live stream from there. Um, but this is also a beautiful little uh, area too. They, this one looks kind of small. It's actually not that small. But uh, very, very, only 300 yen, I think, for either one of these to go into. Definitely check out these, uh, these places. And this is the map of the area. Of course, um, you've seen me in the past. Uh, they got Takashiba Pier uh, straight at the end of the street here. And that's where we actually go to do our uh, Nomi, Nomi Hodai all you can drink uh, boat cruise in the summertime, but I haven't gone there for a couple of years now. That's awesome. No idea. Gail Espressos, good morning. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Usually you're just commenting afterwards. Thank you for being here. Showed the statues dedicated to the Mafia family in yours? Yeah, no idea. Yeah, anytime fitness is really getting huge. <laughs> That's what she said. And this is the monorail uh, entrance, of course. To go out towards uh, Hanada Airport. Now I just got to get downstairs, figure that out, which I would imagine one of these escalators is going to take me down. We ride an escalator. And that is the JR Hamamatsu Cho uh, station area. What a weird area to come down into. Sometimes the Canadian comes screaming through. <laughs> what are you talking about, eh? Oh, 
Oh, Leon Franks, how are you? How are you? And we actually walked all the way along here. So Italy Park from Hamamatsucho Station, you can just get access straight through there, which I never even realized. And uh, yeah, we are hitting Hamamatsucho Station. Now, of course, Diamond Station uh, is uh, down in the underground, uh, just across the street, actually. You do have a view of Tokyo Tower, which is our thumbnail today, uh, from this corner up here, which I'll show you in a second. And it seems like there's a lot changing along the area here. Little fun fact here, ladies and gentlemen, as I uh, come up to the corner here. Um, this station, this uh, building I used to work at over ten, over a decade ago. Uh, there's a radio station here called Bunko Hoso, and I used to do a, uh, a week, a Saturday show. Uh, before my YouTube career, <laughs> uh, up in there every Saturday morning, I was uh, doing a bit of an uh, English teaching show. And I'll just kind of stand off the sidewalk there. It's a pretty cool view of uh, Tokyo Tower. A little bit obstructed, of course. And there's a few amazing places uh, along the, the way here. Now, they got the, uh, the WTC here. And it looks like they got more construction going on uh, along the way. And that is about it, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, let's go inside the station. I'm gonna go buy a ticket because I don't want to use my Suica today. Unko Hoso, it's a radio station. So I believe I can take my, take the train all the way to my work here, I believe. And I can, I gotta get on the Keihin Tohoku line all the way to Omiya Saitama. So I just gotta check to see how much it costs. Okay, dude. So again, you got the map up here. You got a, a Japanese map and an English map. And uh, if you don't know the, the Japanese, you just come to the English here. Uh, we are at Hamamatsucho. This is the Yamanote line that we are uh, walking here. And I gotta go all the way up. You can see Minami Urawa. And I am actually traveling all the way to Omiya, which is right there. So I'll be going all the way up. And that's probably a good hour. But that is uh, the, sub the train system. Uh, this is just the JR trains to get to where I have to go. So again, let me get a ticket here. It's 570 yen. So again, when you come here, you can just press English if you want. Like this, okay. JR line ticket. You just pick the cost, 570 yen, and then you just put your money in. It's gonna spit out a ticket and your change. Eventually, got my change, got my little ticket here, and we are going to go inside uh, the train station for a minute. Now again, you just put your ticket, obviously you put your ticket inside, pick it up on the other side. Now every time you do that though, there is a hole, which means it's been used. I can't remember which platform it is on but we're going to go check it out anyways maybe we'll get lucky on this one this is uh, the platform i got to go to anyways so with my luck it's probably on the oh you know what it is on the other on the on the other train line damn i remember it's on this one over here <laughs> I'm sure they have an elevator somewhere, but it's the damn stairs. Now, if you do want to come take pictures, of course, 
uh, we are at the complete north exit here. We've got to walk all the way to the other end of the uh, of the platform. But if you're ever wondering, walking on the platforms are pretty cool. Again, Yamanote line right there. <coughs> I hope it's still here. <laughs> For all you train buffs out there. Not a bad looking station. Oh. I like this over here. I like anything that looks old. Like myself. Haha, <laughs> I beat you to it, Vin. All these little nooks and crannies along the way here. <laughs> the platform gets narrower and narrower. Maybe I'm on the wrong one, man. I don't think so, but... Oh my God, I'm walking on the other side of the yellow line. So, you know, people do walk on this side. But uh, for safety concerns, obviously, try to stay on uh, the other side of the yellow line. Oh, there we go. Vin would comment, of course. Oh, my God. So far. As long as I get my train by 11.45, I'm good. Oh, I'm gutted. Is it still here? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. So you gotta come all the way down on uh, the platform. Uh, excuse me. That's heading towards uh, Shinagawa area. Platform 36 and three quarters. I, you know, honestly, I wanted to be uh, one of those train people, Jim and Harriet. I thought it would be pretty cool. <coughs> the sad part is I got to walk all the way to the other end. But uh, down here, of course, you can see it. I don't know if you can yet, but this is uh, Mannequin Piss, the little peeing boy. And uh, he's got a little, little bit of a Japan uniform on right now. Look at that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I wanted to show you guys the Shinkansen going behind. Now, this is always taken care of by a few people, but uh, I'm sure some of you know the history behind this. I'm not going to get into it, but it's a good little area. He's peeing into the, uh, the little thing there. And that's how I wanted to finish up. I like the little baseball glove, the bat, Japan uniform. And it is seasonal, so they do change it. Um, I don't know how every, mo every month or uh, what it is, but you know, I like the idea of having the flowers along there. Kid's putting his hand in the mannequin piss. There is an inscription along the back here, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a good job. Our neighbor is a retired brakeman for the railroad. It pays well, but sometimes you're gonna you're gone for a few days. <coughs> well, if you meant that kind of conductor, no. I'd like to be a JR um, train, not conductor, but uh, the person that actually stands in the back like him. He's the one that does all the announcements and stuff like that. That's what I wouldn't mind doing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Please stand clear of the closing doors. It's kind of funny how they have the safety guard here, but they don't have it on this side.
But now we've got to walk all the way back to say goodbye. Hey, thank you, Rahman Pharmacist. I appreciate that. I gotta get the, oh wait, that was the train I was supposed to get. That's the rapid. Ah, rap bastard. Oh well. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Lots of vending machines even on the top here, on the platform. And uh, yeah, we just gotta skip over and get the next train. It's always cool to walk around uh, platforms, in my opinion. I've always liked it anyways. Checking out the Shinkansens, the trains. Like, if you're a train geek like I am, then yeah, it's, uh, it, it gets kind of interesting, so. Ah, thank you guys. I really appreciate uh, all your support today. Um, it's been a bit of a walk. I hope you are enjoying these uh, Yamanote line travels and you know checking out sites between stations. Uh, we typically do about uh, three stations per um, per stream, and uh, the next stream we're going to be doing is Hamamatsucho. I don't know how far we're going to get. We might get to uh, Shinagawa, um, kind of hoping, or somewhere in that area, anyways. Um, as we're coming up here. This is simply just the area. Now you can, of course, go outside uh, to Hinode Pier and things like that. Where am I going? I gotta go down the next thing here. And of course, like platforms one and two, uh, it says Tokyo, Weno, uh, Omiya, so on and so forth. And that's where we're going. I have to get into my office in the next uh, hour and 15. But uh, yeah, ladies, and gentlemen, uh, I gotta say bye, and uh, I want to say thank you to everybody for uh, you know always being here to help support me. Truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, yeah, let's hang out on. I gotta get car number four. Even I know what car number I have to get, which is always uh, car number seven. Mm -hmm. What? I gotta go way, way the hell back down here now. So, <laughs> take care, everybody. Uh, moderator group, I'll be talking to you uh, while I'm on the train. Um, and then I'll be setting up for all my Patreon members. If you're not a part of the Patreon, hey, Slow, how are you? Uh, part of the Patreon, by all means, I appreciate the support. And uh, we've got a pretty awesome community there. We'll be going live, I think, around maybe uh, 8.30 or 9 a.m. Not sure yet, but uh, I will say, I will bid you adieu and I'll say thank you so much everybody. I really appreciate this community and uh, we're growing slowly, but we're growing organically. All right guys, please check out these two videos here. The Patreon link is here if you want to become part of the TD Crew Asylum family and subscribe to my new channel, Travelations. Keep it real, keep it raw straight to yourself because I always do. Have a great day everybody. Bye.